So the question is, why is gluten hydration so important? And if you go search the word gluten hydration, you probably can't find anything on the internet. Um, if you go look in the books, you probably can't find anything in the books. And that's because nobody has really looked into gluten hydration. Everybody has looked at the thiols, you know, disulfide bonds, but nobody has really looked into, you know, um, um, what happens when you hydrate gluten. Because gluten is almost like an emulsifier, if you think about it. It has hydrophobic and hydrophilic ends. The problem is, you know, it, it coagulates, it, it curls up. You know, what, um, what we know about gluten hydration based on Rapidojet technology so far is when we get the hydrophobic Philic ends to work, the hydrophobic ends form bonds together. So that's how it strengthens um, and optimizes the gluten strands, strands by itself. Um, so um, what we believe and what has not been studied yet, which I hope we can do some study here in, in the future, the functionality of gluten is not optimized unless it's fully hydrated. And that is a big theory of ours. Um, so the mechanism is still very unknown. We don't know. We don't know what's happening. You know, but that is the case. Um, the gluten functionality really depend on the flour particles rubbing against each other in traditional mixing and exposing the next um, layer for hydration again. But again, you know, the traditional mixing creates friction and heat, uh, but also aligns and develop, develops the gluten proteins. Okay. Chess, we should basically you yeah, Yeah. So this is gluten hydrated at 200%. Basically when you hydrate gluten, it comes together and it's functional gluten. It's all form and you can see it holds air bubbles. In terms of stretchability, This is very functional in terms of stretchability and the window pane tests. So let me go into a little bit of what RapidoJet does. It directs water to subsurface areas and it uses hydration to speed up mix mixing. Um, it works on hydrating the gluten and um, I don't know if you guys have seen the video but I, I would like to show it. RapidoJet achieves radical hydration through high pressure water delivery. The free-falling dry ingredients are delivered via gravity to the high-pressure water stream where it undergoes this process. With a traditional mixer, the process of hydration happens over a relatively long period of time due to surface tension and also creates heat. With the Rapido Jet, the shear force of the water instantaneously penetrates the surface tension barrier without generating heat. Taking a closer look, we can see that the water molecules impact the gluten with enough energy to force it open causing it to unfold. Water will bind to the hydrophilic portions, forcing the hydrophobic portions to bond. Millions of thiol disulfide interchanges later, the proteins will unfold and align. This causes the development of the protein network, which results in an instantaneous, well-developed dough. So this is how we, um, we're theorizing that uh, the Rapido Jet works in terms of gluten hydration.